Hope you're having a fantastic day, and welcome to It Breathes, the call, just a demo, but it looked like it had good potential. Not sure if I played anything by the developer before. Apparently they are a Hungarian programmer. I'm playing a, a whole bunch of uh, European indie games of recent, at least the recent recordings I haven't uploaded yet. But uh, the game had potential, it's just the demo, as the game store page puts it. It breathes, it breathes is a suffocating psychological horror where you have one goal, to get out of the Herseg, Herseg, I don't know how to pronounce it, uh, but get out of the, the manor or sanatorium alive, but to escape you must immerse yourself in the history of the sanatorium that has become a living hell. Um, it's like a pixelated indie horror, it, it looks like it's interesting. I'm just going to get into it though, apparently we can also turn on <laughs> turn less jump scares, hey jump scares! And also, apparently, before we get into it, the this demo does not have... What was it they put? The call demo... Or the demo is just called The Call, but the main game will just be called It Breathes, perhaps. But The Call demo gives you a taste of the beginning of the game, but the survival horror elements aren't there yet. So the full game will be different from this, and it will have survival horror elements, so definitely something that can probably kill you. And we'll find out maybe what will kill us. It's just... That it's not active? I'm not sure. A Shock Olympia negyedik fordulójában a szalon is itt a férfi versenyzőink 4-0-ra győztek a 1-1. Kass játszmája a 1-1. Kass játszmája a... Holnap napközben az eső keletre is átterjed, a délnyugati szél pedig mindenütt megélénk. Kül, 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 kül. Your world is so small. You sit in a room, staring at a screen, and you don't remember anything. You don't know how you got here, you don't know who you are, you don't know what's beyond the walls of the room. You're scared, that's good. What is this weird, goopy thing I'm looking at? Fear helps you survive, it hides you from it. God was not afraid, so it killed him. I hid, it won't find me. Alright, bet. I'll be looking for you too. We have a common goal. You must escape. So he wants to escape? If our common goal... I mean, if we have a common goal, is it is it to not get killed by this thing, or is it that we both want to escape from whatever this thing's clutches are? A bin full of cardboard. Well, good for that bin. A little Dalmatian. Anyways, um, I'll assume we climb through this window, but what are, what is our goal? Find out where everyone has gone. And a piece of napkin. A two. I don't know if that's a G or an 8. I don't know. And I don't know about the other... What, what? Also, yay, motorcycles. Is that like a 21 with a capital A over top of it? Or is it... Like, I, I don't... I don't know how to read it. A21? Right arrow to A? I have no idea. Um... Evidence warehouse. Why are we in the evidence warehouse? Find the box. Okay. So we're going to A2. I, may, maybe it's like column A, box 21? Maybe? B, C. Okay, so if it's A2, it's on the second of this, meaning... Okay. It's probably a labyrinth over here. Okay, let's get to A2 and find an evidence box, apparently. I'm going to see an ambience. 
It's too early for something to happen, and the game developer already told me there's no survival horror. So it's just ambience. I will grade the ambience. Uh, A2. Okay, but A in 21A? Like... Like... They all look the same. Anything special about any of these? Um, I mean, I'll just go one by one. I presume, like, with the doors... Hang on, let me look at the crosshair quickly. Oh! That. That, when the crosshair goes over something interactable, it... Like, it grows, so you can see what it is. Okay, I have no... Uh, like, eight... A right arrow, a and twenty-one. I don't know about the twenty-one. He said that these are like six shelves long, and only, you know, five shelves height-wise. So I don't know about the twenty-one, but eight would make only sense if you're saying the eighth box from the start, I guess. But I don't know about the twenty-one. A. I have no idea. Um, find the box. Pack the evidence. Transcript. Um, hello, Dad, is that you? This can't be. Who is this? It's me, Gurgo? No, 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 mumbling. Come take me, Dad. I'm scared and I miss you. They want to hurt me. Note one. After the phone call, Andre Varga left that hostel by car without checking out. No one saw him again. At the time of the phone call, the son had been dead for four months. Oh. Okay. I sh they're saying com they, they want me to combine this? Oh. Okay. Uh, sure. Find a bin. Okay, we're presumably going to go to that cardboard bin unless we get attacked. No. Bin full of cardboard, burn. Yes, burn! The policeman came to the house looking for his son. I'll show you the last thing he saw. Ah, uh, okay, wait, so are they showing. Find your son. The son that went missing for four months. Um. We're, we're, I guess we're in, we're in the manor now? Hang on. And we're playing the story not of the main character, but in the demo we're playing a different character who the person on the phone told us will let you know, we'll see what happened when he tried to look for his son who'd been missing. I'll just grab everything, I guess. Um, not sure where to start first, but... And in terms of rating, the architecture at the very least... I don't know if I like the lobby, per se, because, I mean, that looks kind of hideous. Unless there's, like, a door there, but... Eh. We'll see. I'm going to be grading everything. TV room. With a sign that weirdly vanishes. I... What? The door even van... Wait. Okay. The kitchen. Wait, why? No, the, the, the door handle's vanishing. The, the, the... Man. Ring, ring. Aren't those flowers and thorns? What's that got to do with ring, ring? A cupboard that I can't see, but I have to go. I, apparently, I'm gonna have to find a flashlight. Kids' bedroom. Okay. Oh, also, I'm not gonna go upstairs until after I'm done the ground floor, as I usually would do. Office. <laughs> hello. Double hello. I like that like you just like as soon as you enter the room, it's just like uh, like a uh, anatomically correct 
muscle picture, but like the part you're used to seeing in like biology books is like kind of covered. All you get is like this thing staring at you at that like the the quarter or half of the face. That's actually kind of funny. Like it's a perfect usage of it in a horror aspect. You just like look at it like that, and that's just staring at you in your peripheral vision. That's fine. And then you got the shadow lit by a monkey doll or something, and also hello yoink. But. Mm. <laughs> what are you looking at? Well, apparently. Oh god. How many things? God damn it, there's tons of things to read. Okay, so the doll. At first glance, it's just a raggedy stuffed animal. Not even cute, but on closer inspection, someone has stitched something into its back. There are tiny letters on the note. If it's Etsy, 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 I'm going to call it Etsy, like the, the store you buy shit on. If Etsy laughs, it's close. Always keep her in front of you so she can see everything. Questionable. The kid's letter from the caretaker, presumably to Mrs. Her Herke. I don't know how to pronounce their last names. Please tell me in the comments below. The kids are always messing with the big grandfather clock in the hall. I took one of the hands off so they might get bored. I know your husband lives and dies for antiques, but please talk to him about putting the clock where the kids can't get to it. Aunt Eva has ruined the clock. No more night outs. If someone could get the hand back, set it to nine o'clock. Okay cabinet key probably for that office that's been boarded up so I can't do anything oh god and a photo of the founders okay uh, the best I could do why is everyone hiding my son is this the character we're playing now then is it really just good intentions that drives Lajos Lajos Herse, Herse? let me know if I pronounce the name completely correct there Lajos Herse is that it? am I wrong <laughs> And his partner, Anna. According to a local policeman... Okay, now those are the founders? The wealthy doctor and his wife are far from blameless do-gooders. I took my son to them six months ago because his cough wouldn't go away. After a cold, I thought they could give him uh, give me some medicine, but instead they kept him there. We hardly saw each other after that. And then, only in isolation, with masks over our faces, they said his illness was infectious. And two weeks ago, I got a letter saying he had died. They didn't tell me anything more. I couldn't even see his body. The policeman said, asked if he had taken any legal action. He revealed more mysteries. I spoke to a lawyer. I wanted to get my son back in court, but we got nowhere. I keep running into walls like everyone is working against me, but I'm not going to give up. He was everything to me, and I'm sure they had something to do with his death. Okay. A long read, and I'm also getting super goddamn hungry. Maybe in the mood for Chinese food, honestly. Also, I presume I can't get in this because it's glass and I can't use the key on it because my crosshair is not growing. So we're going to smash this, probably. So I think we're done here. Unless I missed something. Well, why the why would the bookshelf be covered by a tarp is my question, though. Like, preserve it so dust doesn't, I guess, get to it? So dust mites and moths don't eat the book pages? Oh, my stomach is grumbling so bad. Also, yeah, what is this? Uh, the whole thing put it in front of you. Oh, it's a little bunny. What? So this is the culprit? If Etsy laughs, it's close? Okay, so it is this raggedy thing with a mask 
and the doll doesn't like it or reacts to it. Interesting, I guess. I don't know if I should trust turning my back to it, but... I'm gonna assume it's not moving again, because survival horror hasn't been activated, but this thing maybe is what's gonna be trying to jump scare and kill me? I don't know where we're supposed to go, though. We need a clock hand, or we need a key to enter a door, or an item to bash open the glass. Or a flashlight so I can see better. Not sure, because all these doors are damn locked, and the only key I have is a cabinet key. But this is unlocked already. So unless a door opens... I actually don't know where I'm going now. Unless something changes environmentally-wise due to an event. Nope, oh, oh, I mean... A hammer's right, right there! Right... It's right there. But it's not shining. So it's not pickable, pick upable. I can see something behind this painting. Like there's a secret thing behind it for sure. You can tell with that. But my character is now wanting to move it. I, I genuinely have no idea what I'm doing because like all the other rooms are locked. So there has to be something I'm missing because I uh, wouldn't think the game's just broken. But I haven't found anyone who already has played and uploaded footage of this to even show me what I am doing wrong if I needed to look up what's going on. Also, wait... Is there something that was here and its head was, like, illuminated by the, uh... the lighting? I wanna see it, damn. And I have to figure out what I'm doing out because I'm, I'm kinda stuck. Wait. Motherfucker, that's how I unlock it? Right fucking there? I've been stuck this whole time? Okay, for other, I guess, maybe YouTubers, if I'm gonna be the first to upload it. Developer. If you're gonna- if this cabinet motherfucking key is not for that room where it was originally held, like the key was to unlock, unlock this door, and the key said it was for that office, but this is also an office, but this is also more like a- you enter a person's office, their office isn't there, but this is like your, uh, secretary? Is it not? Would this not be the secretary room before the office of the doctor, or both of them? Because otherwise, the only way to unlock this was me, like, standing right over here and going right here? Because I had this motherfucking key out and staring at this glass so many times, and the crosshair did not expand like that. And I don't know if that's just an oversight or just something else, but develop. You're gonna have to make it exceptionally clear, because I got stuck wandering for now 30 minutes trying to find out what I need to do next. But I'm just like, I, that looked like a clock hand. I was like, I need that. I was roaming everywhere, and I was just like, okay, that statue's not moving. That clock hand has a shiny. The sh other shiny is right over here. I can't get into there. I can't pick up the hammer. See, the only clues I have is... I think a shiny that keeps happening over here? Or... I don't know, but we got the clock hand anyways, but no. If you want to open this, if you're having trouble, apparently you have to do what I did and use the key here, because it's for this, to get to that. So I have the clock hand, so I can continue. I, I... Oh. The fuck's with its neck? But okay. It's reacting a lot. A lot, uh... More aggressive. A puzzle... Okay, enough of this. Is it a puzzle based on which I touch, I guess? Hmm. Well, this might take a, a bit of brute forcing. Like, if I hit the hour hand, it does quite the leap by, like, one hour and 20 minutes. If I click this, the hour hand skips by two. 
Hmm. It, it skips by two hours and five minutes. Hmm. Two hours, huh? I'd have to line up. Hmm. But yeah, I, I know what I want to do. I can tell what both of them, uh, what they do, but uh, getting it to nine o'clock dead on will take a bit of brute forcing, which I just did. A broken key to the kids' room. The kids used it for secret passes after bedtime. See you. Also, turn off the v uh, VHS effect just to see... You know what? I'll look at the doll. Hang on. And turn it back on and off just to see, ambience-wise, what is better. Settings... Apply... Hmm... I mean, I guess I'll keep the filter effects on. It adds... a bit. It doesn't add a whole lot, I would argue, visually, but... I mean, it does add. It's not too clean, but it's also not too dirty. I mean, the VHS effects may be a bit too dirty, actually. But the, it's too clean if you turn it off. So, hmm. Kids drawing. Uh, me, a boy in the wall, me. Hmm. You again. Wait, what? The door's handle is... On the right side. Oh, weird. A uh, letter from a little girl to the founder based on the text. She trusted her. I'm writing this letter because you have been working a lot lately and we cannot talk in private. Tibby has been hearing voices since he was a little boy. Adults think that the devil is talking to him. But I know very well that this is not true and you know it too because you told you told us so. I've been hearing them for a while now. I thought it would go away, but it's getting stronger. They whisper to me in the evenings. Their voices sounding like all the children in the house. I'm scared. Okay, so it's... This children's room with a pin-up calendar? Wait, what? I mean, it's not a pin-up calendar, but... The same effect, right? It's, it's a, a woman in old swimming gear. You're saying this is the kids' room? You're saying kids have ass? You have the kids? In the sanatorium? With that poster? Interesting. Those kids are uh, hitting puberty a little early for their interests. Oh, now we have a flash. You're saying we always had a flash. We, we always had a. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hey! Oh, it ends there. I was about to say, it's just like, oh, is it like SCP-173 where um, it only moves when you're not looking at it? I was, oh, oh. But then it just started moving anyways. Okay, uh, the creature's movement just dragging towards you wasn't scary. Kind of goofy, but I can understand it being what it is. But hmm, I want to get my final feedback and comprise my thoughts then. Um, nothing too extreme, but it would be just like saying, the environments are fine, though, although the main lobby area does look ugly with those stairs, I would argue. Um, but otherwise, architecture, I wouldn't know until I see the whole manor, because I always usually be like, hey, how believable is this environment? It's, it's better than average in terms of the indie horror scene, I would argue, but... Hopefully, whatever this creature is that supposedly jump scares you or will actually come hunting you, survival horror-wise, in the main game. Hopefully, it's done right, because with this demo, I can't figure out if the main game's survival horror elements are good. Because at least with this demo, what it shows you is atmosphere, the ambience, the setting, the story, pacing, you know, the usual but what it lacks that I always like to look for in indie horror would be, you know, like, how is the creature, what it looks like, how it moves, what it sounds like, 
um, what is its gimmick or mechanic, and will it catch you off guard or not? I like to not know these things, but also know these things just for the whole critique point. But otherwise, I mean, it has potential, and I do like pixelated, but I mean, there's just very, very, very few nitpicks nonetheless. I mean, it's, just, it's not, nothing much. It's like, hey, the, this lobby looks ugly to me, which is very optional and subjective. And uh, the, the, the glass with the key, make it... Hmm. You don't need to have things flash to show what is important. Like, the aspect of finding out where you're meant to use that key... Hmm. It, it just needs a fix at the very least, because, like, me being... Not knowing where the key goes, thinking... I, I wasn't expecting the fucking key would collide against glass with no visible keyhole. And I was kind of wondering where the fuck the key was going... And scanning the bookshelves, um, looking for, like, a secret item I just haven't fucking found that would help me proceed and progress through the game, but it ended up just being I put the cabinet key into the glass itself, but only on the right side, because I had examined the glass before, and it was very nitpicky on what I can, like, what makes that crosshair large, like, enlarge, and so I know it's interactable. I kept looking at it thinking, okay, am I going to just shatter this or it's something I'll deal with later? And I didn't see that interactable crosshair indication. So it's like, if anything, it just means make it so that crosshair blatantly appears when you look at the glass, any part of the glass. And then if you interact with the interactable, even without the item, your character will say something that will help imply it can be unlocked with a key, right? Rather than it being like, hey, the crosshair like gets bigger but there's no uh, hot tip or pro tip, right? So it's like, if you at least inform a person, hey, this is interactable, but maybe if you also include, when you click on an interactable, maybe like what it wants, like, hey, this glass panel is locked. It needs a key still. Oh, I have a key. But I, I just didn't know it was, inter I didn't know it was locked. I didn't know I could unlock it. And I didn't see the enlargement for that glass window and or not the glass one you know, the glass paneling for the cabinet and that fucking stalled my progress for quite a bit so i'm assuming a bunch of other play testers might run under the same problem and that will by extension go towards anyone who buys the game anyone who records the game streams the game plays the game so it's, it's a feedback for the developers to fix the glass panel and make sure in the full game that that which happens in this demo does not happen in the full game because anyone feeling like they're soft locked or lost when all that they have is everything that they need, but they just don't know where it goes to because then the environment isn't giving them the right clues that that's an issue kind of thing, right? But it's not a huge issue. It can easily be fixed, and it's a good thing it was found in the demo because then the full game can be that much better. But either way, I hope you enjoyed for what the odd demo did offer, though. Good environment, immersion, hopefully more intensity or tension, the environment messing with you, the manner messing with you. We'll have to see as the game releases, I guess, more versions or just as the game does release. But if you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, hit the subscribe button, become a subscriber, hit the notification down below for updates of my videos. Thank you for watching. Until the next time. Um.